Okay, so this is my deck. Um, I've tried to base it around being really cheap and really um, getting all my stuff out early, early as possible. So first of all, we start off with a zero cost card, which is a zero two. Uh, it's there because it's a free thing to cast whenever. Uh, hopefully it can get buffed up by some of the uh, instants and sorceries I've included. Uh, I've also got some other one, uh, some one drops. So I've got this one which can tap to give me a life. Uh, this has got Death Touch, Typhoid Rats, uh, very excited about that and for, uh, for aggro. Classic Child and Knight, uh, and we've got a, a Flying uh, Pegasus thing, which is a Flying and Life Link. Uh, it's only a 1-2 though, but it's you know it's still very good for an uh, early game. I've got a Black Cat for some hand disruption. Um, we have a Bronze Sable, just to sort of um, cast it with whatever I have available in case I, I'm, I'm mana screwed. Uh, we have a... Uh, a, a two drop which has a two two and it gives another creature plus one plus one so I'm trying to you know, be fairly angry with my play style uh, I've got some two drops here as well so this is just a, a three one for two which I think is a brilliant two drop for a, uh, an aggro based deck uh, I've got a carrion crow which is a flying it is a two two it costs three and it, but it does enter tap so that's a, that's a bit of a drawback for that uh, I've got the razor frost griffin which uh, is a flying and first strike for four pretty good and then I've got a, a grave digger here to try and uh, get some cards back from the graveyard um, should the worst happen and then I have a a rot feast and maggot which uh, when enters the battlefield exile target creature card from the graveyard and I can gain life equal to it so um, I can get some life back if I need it you know based around the whole life game mechanic I have an impressive race here to try and uh, control the play, uh, the opponents a little bit I've got eternal thirst to give um, life link to sort of go in with the life link um, theme as well, uh, and it's also it gains a plus one plus one counter when something dies that my opponent controls. Uh, I have solemn offering, which is destroy target artifact enchantment. I thought I'd include that because um, I wasn't really sure what the guys were going to be uh, playing in their deck, so I thought it's good to have some removal. Uh, I have a fester gloom, which is non black creatures get uh, minus one minus one till end of turn. Okay, and I've also got um, Staff of the Sun Mate Magus and Staff of the Death Magus, which is good for more life gain, because uh, I'm, I'm planning to really get that life gain up there, uh, really get my life total, uh, you know, in the 30s if I can. <laughs> uh, I've got two Marked by Honours, which is Enchant Creature, Enchant Creature gets plus two, plus two, and Vigilance for four. Uh, that's going to try and, uh, I'm going to try and use that to buff some of the, uh, some of the smaller two-drop creatures, maybe. I uh, have a Sanctified Charge, which is Creatures gain plus two, plus one. Uh, if it's a white creature, they gain first strike as well. So that's an added bonus for trying to play uh, white alongside the black. Uh, and there's just basic lands down here. So I've got an Evolving Wilds to try and um, get a, a, a Swamp or a Plains, depending on what I need. And then I've got, uh, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got seven Plains and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven Swamps as well. And that's my deck tech from the deck I'm going to be using this draft.